Hello friends, this is Dr. R.B. Kusoha, Associate Professor in the Division of Veterinary Chemical Complex, FVSC and AH at SCOS Jammu, RS Pura. Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification. Today we are going to discuss about the supracondinal fracture of femur bone in uh, two dogs and its management by the dynamic cross spinning. So this is the first case you could see uh, the preoperative radiograph of the femur bone. So you could see here the fracture is just above the condyle. So that is why it is called the supracondylar fracture. So this one is the proximal fracture fragment and this one is the distal fracture fragment and this is the patella. So the physis or epiphysial plate or growth plate is still intact. So you could say this is the radiograph of the young animal. This is the mediolateral view immediately after dynamic cross spinning. So you could see the how uh, beautifully uh, this distal segment is aligned with the proximal fracture fragment and you could see uh, the crossing of the pins. This is the mediolateral view so that's why it is very difficult to appreciate the crossing of the, this uh, both K wire. But as far as the stabilization or reduction is concerned, it is a very good reduction. So you could see the the position of the femur bone and the position of the this tibia and you could see the patella is nicely uh, placed over the trochlea. So this one is the craniocaudal view of the same femur bone. You could appreciate the crossing of the K wire inserted from the this lateral uh, epicondyle and this one from the medial epicondyle. When you insert the pin from the lateral epicondyle so obviously it will emerge uh, medially and uh, when you insert from the medial side so it will uh, emerge laterally. So both pins emerges from the this trochanteric fossa. Advantage with this technique is that you could remove the pin once the fracture healed. Otherwise in case of the static cross pinning where the two uh, pins inserted from the this lateral side and two pins from the medial side. So that pin is very difficult to remove or rather it is not removed and it remains as such. This one is the second case. So th this is the mediolateral radiograph of a uh, stray dog. This non-descript dog presented uh, uh, 10 days later to the this trauma. So you could see, so here the it is almost facial type of fracture. It is very close to the condyles and even you could see here the fracture fragment of the, this proximal segment, it is very close to the skin and this distal segment is very small. So such type of fracture is very very difficult to manage by the single intramedullary pin or uh, even by some other technique. So if you have the 2.2 or 2.5 mm K wire, so you could manage uh, this fracture by the dynamic cross spinning. So this one is the craniocaudal view of the supracondylar fractures you could see here, although this is not very clear, this craniocaudal view. So this one is the very small segment, distal segment, and this is the proximal fracture segment. So this one is immediately after uh, doing the dynamic cross spinning. So here you could see, so how beautifully this segment is also aligned with the proximal fracture fragment. You could see that this is the proximal tibia, and this one is the this patella, which is nicely placed over the uh, this trochlea. So Overall, in both cases, the fixation and alignment of the femur bone is very good. The video of uh, this dynamic cross spinning, I have already uploaded uh, the this procedure on my YouTube channel. So you, I have given the, this link for the that procedure, so you can go and watch the video. So thank you for watching this video and if you like the video, so kindly share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you very much.